안녕하십니까? Hello, brothers and sisters. 저는 My name is Joe Manung. I am 430 couples, and I am the head of the Senior Pastors Association. When I heard that we should do Heavenly Tribal Messiah activities and bless 430 families, I began thinking about it. At first, it seemed like it would be very difficult to find 430 couples who could really receive the blessing and start tithing and become dedicated members. I thought about this a lot. I wondered, how should I do this? I had the desire to do it, but I didn't have any practical plan about how to do it. But the thing that made it happen was that one day, my wife had a dream. She dreamed that the spirit world put gold rings in her hands. And when she opened her hands in the dream, she could see there were seven rings in each hand, seven gold rings in her right hand and seven in the left hand. My, mother, my wife wondered about this dream. What did it mean? We thought about it. And we felt that it was definitely connected to the heavenly tribal messiah activities, that we have the, wit the responsibility to witness to 430 families horizontally, and also to liberate and bless 430 generations of ancestors. My wife thought that the seven rings in the hands were telling us that we needed to do these activities step by step, seven generations at a time. At that time, um, there were seven generations of ancestors being opened up for gen uh, liberation in each stage. So the we should uh, make sure to keep blessing our ancestors seven generations by seven generations. But this was not easy to think about because uh, we also needed money to do this activity. My, mother's, my wife started to make preparations for gathering some money to do this. My hometown is in Puyo, in Chungcheongnamdo, and we thought, where can we find spiritual Tridon? We struggled about that, but then I got a phone call from the Puyo church pastor in 2018, and he said, we have to give lectures on the reunification of North and South Korea in our, each area. We need to educate people about the blessing. So you're from this area and you're an elder pastor. How about if you come to your hometown and teach and bless these people? Well, I felt that this was a golden opportunity from heaven. So I thought about how to do it. And then in January 2018, I went to my hometown and I gathered people together and started teaching them. And I announced that I would be giving a heavenly tribal Messiah blessing in April. So... I was able to complete my horizontal responsibilities with the help of the Buyo pastor. We had already a certain a number of uh, spiritual children, so we had um, 160 families and 200 families we found in Puyo. And then we had the difficult task of educating the central families among those families to become dedicated members, plus central families who could attend services and tithe. But now, since we can't meet in person because of COVID-19, I've been using a Hundok family chat room that I started in June 2019 to educate my spiritual children. And starting from 2020, with Zoom, I am also meeting my spiritual children every month and doing Hundok family church on Zoom. So I have <coughs> created several kinds of Zoom conferences to educate my spiritual children and guide them to attend church. Then, True Mother called a couple of 72 couple families and another couple from the 777 couples, and she called me and my wife, and she told us, these three couples, that we should make sure the lights in the Chun Shimon prayer, prayer hall are never turned off. 
We should keep it active. She said that our three families should conduct special prayers in the Chunshimwan special prayer room. We should be stewards of Chunshimwan. So after this instruction, we got together, and starting from September 1, 2019, we started to do night prayer vigils every day with 120 vows. At first, we didn't realize the power of the special prayer room at Chunshim One and its special spiritual energy. But one day, my wife had a nightmare. She saw the figure of a very scary woman with long nails, like a Dracula. This woman, she was going around and scratching faces of many of the members in the training center, attacking them. She was scratching them so strongly that they were bleeding from their faces. And then this demon, this evil spirit, came close to my wife, and she tried to grab my wife by the throat and strangle her. But suddenly, behind her, she could hear a voice that sounded like True Mother, saying, This person is from Chunshimwan. And without one word, this evil spirit, this demon, completely disappeared like a pile of ashes. So we shared the story about the power of Chunshim One to get rid of demons with the other members of our prayer team. And we all realized that the power of Chunshim One is not only because of our prayer vigils, but this place is protected by the strength of heaven, that the Chunshim One is surrounded by many, many good spirits. And when we go there, sometimes we see spirits guarding the door, like big, strong security guards. Several times we've seen these spirits when we go there. This makes Chunshim One different from other buildings. Heaven is protecting this place. Heavenly Parent is guarding the Chunshim One with good angels. So we realized when we pray there in the special prayer room, no fear or evil can reach us. No evil works, no evil spirits have the power to go there. This Chunchiwan prayer room can fulfill all of your wishes and desires. We have... Hyojin, Hyojinim, Hyojinim, Yangjinim, Hyejinim, and Daemonim are all working there, working for the reunification of the two Goryas. True Father is working with all of them, helping to support our work through the Chengshim One. And we believe with their help, we can see that Chengshim One is going to bring around, bring about this providence even more quickly. So I really hope that you can also take the opportunity to join the Midnight Prayers with President Ki Sung Lee. You will receive a lot of grace. You will support the providence. It will be a good opportunity for you. If all of us move ahead with a life or death determination to become heavenly tribal messiahs, we can absolutely achieve 43 substantial families on this earth. But nothing can be done in the spiritual realm unless we create our lineage of faith on earth with our spiritual children. Please think about during this special great works. Think about how you can fulfill our missions as heavenly tribal messiahs, become Chanbo families as we attend True Mother here on this earth. This is our focus for the great works this time. We should all find a way that we can stand on the front line. I really request you to search in your mind about this. And that during this special great works, you can receive great grace and energy to fulfill that mission. Thank you very much.